Hello friends, welcome to Tech Greens. So in the continuation to our series on Apache Hive interview questions, today we'll discuss what are external and managed tables. So guys, let's see what is a managed table. It is also called as the internal uh, table in the Apache Hive world. It is the uh, default table, like whenever you will create any table in the Hive, it would be uh, internal or managed by default. Uh, what do we mean by managed data? Uh, as the word goes, it means that the entire life cycle of this table is managed by the hive itself. Uh, it implies, uh, when we say the life cycle is managed, it implies that uh, whatever data you will uh, insert into this particular table will go into the hive's data warehouse directory. Uh, the default path of uh, hive's data warehouse uh, directory is user slash hive slash uh, warehouse so whenever you will do any data load in the manage table then hive moves that data into the hive data warehouse directory so uh, this particular uh, table uh, which is the manage table is uh, entirely managed by the hive from the security and the data load perspective data goes into the uh, user slash hive slash data warehouse uh, directory and if you drop this particular table then the metadata and the table data is deleted uh, from the from the data warehouse directory so in that case that data which we have uh, loaded into this managed table would not be available uh, further once you have dropped the table because that table would be deleted from the underlying uh, HDFS or Hadoop uh, data warehouse directory uh, along with the metadata. So guys, now let's see what is external table. External tables are definitely not created by default. You will have to use the uh, keyword external while creating the table. As you can see in the code snippet here, when we do, we'll have to do like create external table, table name and other things will remain same. You will have to provide the location, uh, the location other than the default data warehouse directory location where you want to keep the data for this particular table. And uh, if in case you drop this particular table, you drop the external table, then Hive will just delete the metadata. Uh, the data would remain untouched and uh, it will remain at the place where it is on the underlying HDFS uh, file system. Uh, let's see uh, what are the difference between the two from the security standpoint as in the managed table the entire life cycle is managed by the hive itself uh, so all your security constraints access and everything is managed by hive and uh, all your uh, schema level accesses and grants are handled and governed by the hive itself obviously it will depend on your organization policy do we have any uh, you know ad connect and uh, single sign on and all those things but it will run through the hive uh, controlled and managed by the hive itself while in case of uh, external tables uh, these table files when we say these table files means the data in that table which is stored in the in the specified location on your underlying uh, uh, distributed file system is accessible to anyone who has got that hdfs hadoop uh, access so that security and controls and grants are not managed through the HDFS, uh, not managed through the Hive, but they depends on what kind of access level and grants do you have on the HDFS at HDFS file and folder level. So external tables are absolutely out of the uh, out of uh, the prerogative out from the prerogative of the Hive uh, from the security and uh, data management. Now the very important question comes to the mind like uh, what are the use fitting use cases where we should use uh, managed tables and uh, which are the places where we should go with the external tables. See managed tables uh, probably make the use cases where we want Hive to completely manage the life cycle of the data. Uh, if if uh, we want to keep Hive as a single control point to manage the life cycle of the data then uh, it make a use case for managed tables and also if in case we feel that uh, whatever data is managed to hive tables is is temporary is temporary 
so that once you'll drop the table that data will also go away and if, if you're fine with that mechanism I think then manage table makes sense uh, while if you talk about the external table uh, as we have already discussed data is kept outside of the hive data warehouse directory uh, so there is no lock or no uh, access restraint from the hive perspective there that data is uh, obviously accessible to the people who have got uh, file and folder level accesses at the uh, HDFS level uh, so uh, the use case uh, for the external table is where you have a system where you have dis different systems trying to read the same data like you have another program which is uh, running or processing the same data which is also accessible through Hive then they, in that case you won't prefer that if Hive drops the table that data should go away so in such situations where you have a common data set say in your HDFS which is used by multiple programs along with Hive then in such scenario it make more sense to have external table on top of that data uh, another important factor is uh, if I mean uh, external tables make sense when we are not creating a table based on the existing table so in that case external tables should not be used um, obviously the important factor comes to the mind if that data needs to be permanent and needs to be persisted uh, in spite uh, the hype table is dropped then obviously we'll have to use external tables and uh, another factor comes from the uh, from from the standpoint if Hive uh, if you do not want to make Hive as a single control or access point then in such situations external table makes the perfect use cases so guys that's it in this video have a great day bye bye